Happy hump day, everybody. We are on the set of Holly Scoops Just Saying. I'm Madison Hill. I'm Stephanie Gray. And we are talking about one of my favorite topics, yes. Selena Gomez and 13 Reasons Why. Have you watched 13? Oh, I watched okay. it in like three days. It's a little bit embarrassing. I watched it in one night. Oh my gosh. Till seven in the morning. I was nauseous walking back and forth <laughs> to keep myself awake. So I was like, I had to see the actual suicide. Oh my gosh, okay, you're the real MVP. Wow, okay, Thank you, you, you anyway. bring my three days to shame. But anyway, as you guys know, there was a lot of controversy that came with the right, series. People right. talked about how glamorous suicide, mental illness, that discussion's been very prevalent mm -hmm. in the media and on social media. But now Selena Gomez just recently in an interview this week talked about that controversy in depth and then also gave some season two spoilers. Yes. So first let's talk about the serious stuff, then we'll end on the happy, happy stuff. Happy note, okay. Um, so in an interview with Elvis Duran and The Morning Show, um, she acknowledged the controversy and right. she said this long quote, so bear with me, but it's very interesting. The content is complicated. It's dark and it has moments that are honestly very hard to swallow. And I understood that we were doing something very difficult. But these kids today are exposed to things I would never ever comprehend when I was eight. My cousin teaches third grade. They're doing things that I can't fathom. What do we think? That thing about third grade mm -hmm. is what stood out to me with that. Because think of yourself in third grade. I'm right. thinking of myself in third grade. Mm -hmm. The worst rumors that were going around were stuff like, oh, so-and-so has always eats her pizza really messy on pizza day. You know? <laughs> Talk like, about like kickball at recess. Yeah. But I totally agree. I think like, now with wow. social media being such a thing for middle schoolers and even kids in elementary school, Things are starting younger and younger, which is very scary. Dude, you're right, because in the past yeah. it was only kids who had older siblings exactly. and they knew about like and think about it. sex and, right. and then drugs and alcohol and that kind of And rumors. we had to but call now, each other on the phone or right. figure things so out by talking to each other. Fast. Like Googling things on the internet, how do you do this, yeah. what is this, Netflix right. even in general. We had to watch things on TV whenever they came. Right, but now with internet and social media, you're totally right. right. They can see everything that a 16 year old is talking about right. when they're in third grade. And that's why she said this series and the show is so important because she's hoping that it opens up a greater conversation for people because she's like, I know it's dark and it's tough, but it's happening and people need to talk about it and feel comfortable talking about it so they can make a change, which yeah. I completely agree with. I don't think, I mean, I get why, I get why devil's advocate, mm -hmm. people would think it glamorizes suicide because right. here she is, she kills herself, she sends these tapes and now everyone's talking about Hannah and right. oh, Hannah this, and now we all feel bad about Hannah. And I get that that could be a little Absolutely. bit misconstrued. Yes. In reality, suicide's a very dark thing right. and she is passed away now and she can't right. even see all that. So I feel like, I understand that mm -hmm. side of things. But that being said, I totally agree that the more important thing right. is to talk about it. So if it's between glamorizing and talking about it or not glamorizing and not talking about it, I would go with talking about it and right. glamorizing. I mean, even look at us now. I feel like even for this show, we have a younger audience. Right. And with 13 Reasons Why, we've been able to talk about issues like this so much more, right. I guess, with ease and right. frequency yeah. than before, which yeah. I think is important. I never spoke about, so no one no. ever talked about that. But really. no, no. But to end things on a high note, she did mention yes. some things about season two. Um, she said that we're going to see resolution with some certain characters and that Hannah will definitely be making some appearances in flashbacks. So we're gonna see characters again. Yeah, so we're gonna see like resolution with what happens with Jessica okay. and Bryce. That's who I'm really hoping to see resolution for because I need to know if Bryce gets in trouble. I need to know I thought you were gonna say you crush on Bryce. Oh, and I was God, like, no. he raped someone. Ew, no, 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 no. <laughs> but um, she said they're gonna take a little inspiration from season one and bring it into season two. So I'm really excited to see how they handle these issues. Me too. And everything. But now I wanna know what you guys are thinking. What do you think about Selena's comments in regards to 13 Reasons Why? What are you hoping to see in season two? I'm hoping to see a lot, so I'm curious to know what you guys think. Talk it all out down there in those comments. We'll see you here tomorrow on Holly Scoops Just Saying. Later. Bye.